ladies and gentlemen, dear distinguished guests, distinguished panelists, dear Vod Mori Verabi, Professor Denis Shalom, good morning. I, I want to share with you some insight of research we have pursued at the JPPPI, of Jewish People Political Learning Institute, about emerging form of Jewish engagement among the new generation and their implication for the Jewish establishment in Israel and the diaspora. This research has been commissioned by the government of Israel and by the Jewish Agency, and we are going to deliver analysis and concrete recommendation to the government of Israel by the end of this month. For 10 months, we have interviewed more than 300 Jewish leaders from five continents. We have met with young activists around the round table with very slightly affiliated young Jews, asking them about their understanding of what we call here Jewish peoplehood. Our last brainstorming session was at, in the US last week, and I see in the room many, several of key Jewish, US Jewish leaders, thinkers, activists, and researchers from Israel and from abroad who stayed with us for one day and a half to think about the new development in Jewish identity and our best organizational way to, to adapt to them. I want today to share with you some of, some of our findings and especially some insights that I perceive as particularly inspiring. First insight, I want to say that the old form of belonging are not relevant anymore to the majority of young Jews, even chief ultra-Orthodox rabbis. Haredi rabbis that I know for years and whose children go to the same yeshiva as mine tell me in private that young Jews are bored in synagogues. Even federation leaders say that giving a check is not anymore a sufficient way to generate meaning and belonging. Most young Jews do not find relevant existential meaning in past traditional behavioral patterns. They feel connected, are proud to be Jewish, but want to express it in their own ways. People are definitively looking for meaning and belonging, but not to the inherited ones. They don't trust other experience. For sure, to be meaningful, Jewishness should not be the goal by itself, but a means to achieve something bigger, social, ethical, or spiritual project. Let's be clear. Haredi rabbis do not tell that there are many ways to be Jewish. They certainly believe that the real thing, the ideal type, type of Jewishness is the Haredi world. But not everyone can afford to have a world voice. So they do, they do understand that new ways of valuable Jewish engagement are emerging, even if they generally deny their absolute value. They cry about any Jewish soul who is leaving the boat and know that ultra-orthodoxy is not appropriate for all. The implication of such a thing is that we need to enlarge and diversify the offering of Jewish engagement. And I relate to, the, to Mori Verabi, Professor Benny Shalom, previous speaking, for example. Second insight, because we do not know what will be the meaningful way of belonging of tomorrow, we need to provide space to allow young people to pursue their personal journey to Judaism. Each young man and young woman wants to experience by his or her own exploration of his connection to Jewishness. He will get to the concept of Jewish peoplehood. The world is not defined. This is a unique advantage. I see it as a unique advantage. Each one can put in its or its own meaning. There is no one people would as as many ones as Jews. Allow me to share with you some of my feelings about it. The word people who is fascinating. It is an empty concept. An emptiness is often an advantage in Jewish mysticism. Similarly, in traditional Judaism, we do not pronounce the name of God. Everything you say about God is a reduction of, of what God is. Similarly, the connection to Jewishness is multifaceted. Faceted, is individual, is personal. People have to put their own meaning in it. And it's good that it's this way. To allow this journey to, journey to take place, we need to set up a space. The space has to be inclusive, accepting everyone from where he or she stands, and without excluding anyone who wants to be part of it. Egalitarian, one man and woman, welcoming the outsiders and allowing them to build their own space in their own terms. Israel is a core component of this journey. It is a place of energy, it's an exceptional human adventure, an outstanding startup. Beside ethnicity, culture, and religion, it's only one, or maybe the one, the core station of this journey. 
Further last insight I will present here, there is a need for a new common shared core of meaning and behaviors. The old 613 mitzvot are not exactly appropriate to what the people need. They need a new content. Something will be, that will be common to Israeli and diaspora Jews, something that will give a positive content, even its emptiness, but we need some positive, positive content which will be not mandatory, but will be part of something we want to behave according to it. Common values and behavior. If it's not mandatory and exclusive to this peoplehood concept, and I will mention one of the key points that come again and again. One is Hebrew. If all Jews will speak basic Hebrew in 15 years from now, we'll allow common conversation. There will be a specificity of your global, global community. And Jewish literacy, Jewish art, Jewish music, and Torah study in wide meaning, including Bible and Talmud, but also Leonard Cohen, Franz Kafka, Philip Roth, Emmanuel Levinas, Martin Buber, and others. Thank you. Uh, and uh, the third place, first thing that comes again and again in five continents, everywhere I do round table with young people, is world service. People don't want only to take, like in birthright, which is very good, but it's not enough. The next step, they want to do something, they want to be part of it. And world service, young Jews want to be connected to Jewishness. They don't want to be disconnected from the global world and universalism. They want Jewishness in non-Jewish environment, outside of the ghetto, place where non-Jewish friends are not are not excluded. If a large part of young Jews will pursue a journey that includes a few months of service for social justice in the third world, or in Israel, or in their own community, a visit, or better, a period of study and working in Israel, and then in their own community, this journey become a norm in the Jewish world, will have a new positive content of Jewishness. Okay, I will stop here just to tell you that I see this diversity as a real, positive, optimistic place. We have more than ever in the past the possibility to build new things where really potentially we, have a very, we can really achieve many, many things and we can do it if you use the right tools. And this is a recommendation. I hope you will see them from that. And one of them, I just mentioned two, one is regarding this Tikkun Olam and World Service. The second one is a global Jewish foundation to support, for supporting new initiative from grassroots initiative from people from below. And because we don't know what will be the meaning for tomorrow, we have only the way to make a space for all that. And I hope that sometime people will get to the real thing. I mean, Haredi world, but it's another story. <laughs>